Hey guys, so today I thought that I would sit down and play with some products from the Wet n Wild and Bretman Rock collection. I saw these at CVS when I ventured out after the stay at home order was lifted. So if you guys would like to see what I think of several of the products from the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collection, then just keep watching. So I ended up picking up three things from the collection. They had some lip glosses that didn't really interest me and a really bright palette. And I just haven't been reaching for super bright shadow palettes lately. So I picked up his um, Loose Highlighting Duo. There's two different shades in here. There's like a champagne -y shade and it looks like more of like a pink and gold shade. Highlighting brush, which I love Wet n Wild brushes. And this 3-in-1 Face Mist and it is like a clear liquid with some shimmer powder at the bottom so once you shake it up it becomes like an iridescent shimmery shade it looks like a nice champagne -y shade i don't think there's like a rose gold or a gold shade it's just kind of like champagne in the middle it's called do me in the jungle it says prep set and refresh i have already applied foundation and powder and that's it as far as the face goes so i thought we would try this on half the face and see what it looks like from side to side before moving on to the highlighting products so let's see what the mist looks like here okay it's pretty fine it smells a little bit like coconut I don't see a whole lot of glow on my hand, so it might be fairly subtle, so we'll try side to side. Okay, so this is the matte side with nothing on it. And as I turn, you can start to see the glow on my forehead and on my cheeks a bit. I didn't get any large droplets of like shimmer powder which is nice because sometimes with these shimmer sprays you get like big droplets on your face of shimmer and then the rest is just kind of like a wet look but this looks nice like there's a nice sheen here nice sheen here it's not overpowering so powdered and then refreshed I kind of like this so I'm just going to finish off the rest of the face here Okay, so we are nice and dewy and glowy all over. This would actually be a good body spray too, but it's not super intense. I usually save my like super sparkly glittery ones for the body because I don't want a ton of glitter on my face, but this one is very subtle and I really like this one. I would compare it to a lesser intense version of the Physician's Formula Rosé All Stay Spray. Um, it's less intense than the Iconic London one. That one's a little bit too glittery for me. So this is actually really nice. I like this so I'm a fan of this so far let's move on to the next highlighting product which is this pretty highlighting duo as you can see there's one shade here and one shade here there's gold lioness and bronze tigress so the packaging is cute bright pink lid very tropical inside you have two compartments similar to that physicians formula mineral powder trio where there were like lift up tabs for each section and the initials B and are inside and excuse the nails I tried some um, press-on nails and a couple of them have uh, snapped off so that's why only a couple of them are missing okay so lifting off this gold side over here ooh, so that gold shade right here that's really pretty and then the R side is right here it reminds me of the Smashbox and Velada like petal metal highlight, only a bit chunkier. It's a bit glittery. It's like a pink, rose gold glitter highlight. Can you guys see that? So we will try the gold one first and then perhaps tops it, top it with the pinky duochrome one. And I picked up their face highlighting brush because I needed another one. And I really like Wet n Wild's brushes. This one, similar to their Rose collection, could come with a stand if you want to consider this a stand. That's kind of nice. I might keep it just like this. <laughs> so this is what the brush looks like. It's like a coral to gold ombre effect, nice and fluffy. The only problem with these is they're hard to tap out because once you tap it out into the lid, you're going to have this color in there, but we'll give it a try. So 
here is the shade. It's a nice bright champagne shade, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit of pink mixed in there without meaning to. It's a brand new brush, brand new container. But I feel like it has just like a little hint of pink to it. Next, let's try this pinky shade. I'm just gonna try dipping my brush through the holes and see if that works. Yep, that works. And it is like a gold to pink. I'm not sure if you can see as I turn it, it changes. Let's try it on top here. Oh, it's very chunky. Ooh. Can you guys see how chunky this pinky one is? Oh boy, I don't think I can use that as a highlight. Mm, maybe not. I just powdered it down big time. <laughs> Perhaps it needs something wet to kind of break it apart and like melt it into the skin. So let's try that. Mm. I don't like it as much as my Smashbox one. It's just a little bit too chunky for me. It doesn't look super natural on the face. It looks like a bunch of glitter kind of sprayed onto the side of my face. But perhaps maybe mixed together they might look all right. Let me see. Let me try doing both at the same time here. I have both on my brush right now. Mixed together, it's a little bit better. It's not quite as intense, but I still don't think I like the chunkiness of this duochrome pinky gold highlight. It's just not for me. So I like the brush. I really like the spray, but as far as the kind of like highlighting duo, I'm gonna say it's probably a pass for me unless you have a deeper skin tone and you like chunky highlights. The gold portion of it is fine. It's really quite pretty. Look at this color, it would look really nice on paler skin tones. So I mean, if you wanna buy it just for that side alone, then I'd say go for it, but the pink side's just a little too chunky, a little too dark for me, a little too out there. But I do personally love pinky gold highlights, so that is right up my alley. It's just, this particular one is just very much so on the chunky side. And I just don't think that that is super flattering on the face to see a bunch of chunks of like gold and pink glitter. So it might be really pretty as an eyeshadow or as like a lip topper or even like a blush topper if you just want like a hint of sparkle on the cheeks. So I'm gonna say that I like 50% of this highlight. I really like the gold side, but I don't see myself reaching for this duo chromey chunky one very much. But that's all that I have to share with you from the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collection. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little sneak peek into the collection and a try on. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.